It was a typical day at the bustling airport, filled with hurried travelers and the constant hum of announcements echoing through the terminals. Shaquille O'Neal, the towering basketball legend affectionately known as Big Shock, stood in the first-class line. Despite his immense fame and unmistakable frame, Shaq preferred to keep a low profile. He was dressed casually, wearing a hoodie with the hood pulled up and a cap tilted low, shielding his recognizable face from prying eyes. Shaq had booked a first-class ticket for a peaceful trip to visit a charity organization he'd been supporting for years. It was meant to be a quiet journey, a rare opportunity to stretch his legs and unwind. But as fate would have it, the tranquility he sought was about to be disrupted. As he waited patiently in line, a woman appeared out of the corner of his eye, her sharp features twisted into a scowl. Her name was Patricia, though Shaq didn't know it at the time. Patricia had endured a frustrating day. Her flight had been delayed, and now her irritation boiled over as she spotted Shaq standing ahead of her. Without hesitation, she stormed toward him, her voice cutting through the chatter around them. Excuse me, she said, her tone dripping with disdain. You must be in the wrong line. The economy line is back that way. She gestured dismissively, not even bothering to make eye contact. Shaq, ever the calm and composed figure, pulled his hood down slightly, revealing a look of confusion. No, ma'am, he replied evenly. I'm in the right line. I have a first-class ticket, just like you. But Patricia wasn't convinced. Her voice rose, drawing the attention of nearby passengers. There's no way you're in the right place, she declared. People like you don't belong in first class. The words hung in the air, heavy with prejudice. Shaq took a deep breath, trying to maintain his composure. Ma'am, I assure you, I have every right to be here. Let's not make this a problem, he said, his voice calm but firm. Patricia, however, refused to relent. Her anger seemed to grow with each passing second. If you don't move right now, I'll call security, she threatened, her voice sharp and unwavering. This is first class, and I won't let anyone cut the line, especially not someone like you. By now, a small crowd had gathered, their eyes darting between the two. Some whispered among themselves, while others exchanged knowing looks. Despite the mounting tension, Shaq remained steadfast. Look, lady, he said, his patience beginning to wear thin. I'm here because I bought a ticket, just like you. There's no reason for this kind of behavior. But Patricia was undeterred. She waved down a nearby security officer, her indignation on full display. This man is trying to get into the first class line, she exclaimed. He doesn't belong here. The officer approached, his expression uncertain. Sir, may I see your ticket? He asked politely. Without a word, Shaq reached into his pocket and handed over his ticket. The officer examined it closely before nodding. This is a valid first-class ticket, he said, turning to Patricia. He's where he's supposed to be. Patricia's face flushed with embarrassment, but she wasn't ready to back down. That can't be right, she stammered. People like him. Before she could finish her sentence, Shaq lowered his hood completely, revealing his face to the stunned crowd. A collective gasp rippled through the onlookers as recognition set in. I tried to be reasonable, Shaq said, his voice calm but commanding. But you wouldn't let it go. You want to know who I am? I'm Shaquille O'Neal. I bought this first-class ticket just like you, and now you've caused a scene for no reason other than what I look like. Patricia's bravado crumbled. Her face turned red, and she stammered an apology. I... I'm sorry, I didn't... Shaq shook his head. It's not me you need to apologize to, he said. It's everyone you judge based on their appearance. You need to reflect on how your actions affect others. Turning to the security officer, Shaq added, I think it's best if she's escorted out of the line. The airline doesn't need this kind of disruption. The officer nodded and gestured for Patricia to follow him. Humiliated, she lowered her head and walked away as the crowd murmured in approval. Once the tension dissipated, the passengers around Shaq offered words of support. A woman behind him leaned forward and said, Thank you for standing up to her. Not everyone would have handled it with the grace you showed. Shaq smiled warmly. Sometimes a staying calm is the best way to handle things. But everyone has their limits. As he finally boarded the plane, Shaq settled into his seat, grateful for the quiet that now surrounded him. 
The incident was a stark reminder of the prejudice that still exists, but it also highlighted the importance of standing up for what's right. Later at the charity event, the smiles of the children he was supporting reminded him why he continued to fight for equality and kindness. Shaq knew that every act of respect and understanding, no matter how small, could make a difference.